All right, we're setting up to come into Hampton, Georgia. That's the Atlanta Motor Speedway Airport. You can see the weather we've got out to the south. We're going to Macon, but we had to change of, change of plans. So we're out of 22 for 11. Probably we'll do an approach now, coming in unless the clouds pick one, up zero. pretty quick. But we got the R now 6 program. Up in. Atlanta Center, right here, right now, two miles north of the field, we're about three thousand to four thousand. The Huntsville altimeter is three zero zero two. Have higher for in a minute. Atlanta approach, Citation two six Delta Tango ten four for seven thousand. Citation two six Delta Tango, Atlanta approach, my altimeter two nine or nine or eight. Advise weather notice of speedway, stay approach request. Yes, sir, we do have the weather notice. Looking for the R nav, uh, runway six, please. Citation two six Tango, Roger. You'd expect direct Jupet. Okay, expect direct Jupet two six Delta Tango. Fourteen degrees, we're not worried about any highs down this low. Uh -oh. Roger, Plata 64 A Juliet Sierra, 2200, climbing 3000, heading 280. Plata 64 A Juliet Sierra, Atlanta Parkshire, Ident, climbing 18-4000. Ident, climbing 18-4000, A Juliet Sierra. Alright, Joe, see your contact, two miles west of Peach Airport. Um, showing your destination is Auburn, did you want to go out to Birmingham or would you rather just go uh, south to Auburn? Yep, uh, we're good to just go south to Auburn. I think they just let us go this way because uh, earlier the whole south was kind of blocked off. Alright, Joe, see copy. Joe Sierra, turn left heading 1990, climb and maintain 5000. Heading 190, climb and maintain 5000, Joe Sierra. Land departure RV 253, Romeo Victor, all uh, called in at 2400, climbing to 3000. RV 253, Romeo Victor, climb and maintain 4000, ident. Up to 4000, identing through Romeo Victor. Station 26 Delta Tango, your intent, crest 1 5 miles in Jepet, crest Jepet at above 3000, clear straight in, RNAV runway 6 approach, Atlanta Motor Speedway Airport. Okay, we're crossing Jepet, 3000 feet, clear, RNAV 6 straight in, Atlanta Motor Speedway Airport, runway 6, 26 Delta Tango. Room 253, room of Victor, ready to contact you north of Parting, I'll be showing you past the 3000, the answer is 2998. Let me know when you have arrived with a Sierra at Macomb, expect for the vector for RNAV runway 27 approach. Roger, I've got Sierra McCullum, and uh, yeah, they aren't having to be great through your army of Victor. Atlanta Speedway Airport Automatic Weather Observation. Number 648, Julius Sierra, clear to Auburn. Three, zero, clear Auburn, weather, Julius Sierra. Wind, two, seven, zero, at three, visibility, one. 400, broken, 1,200, so, over uh, 6, 7, come back, turn 10 degrees to the left. 10 degrees to the left, and the tops are looking like 4,500, maybe 5,000. We'll show 45 as the tops. Just let me know what the bases are if you reach them. Not as high here. This is 3,000 tops. Yeah. Well, actually, 2,800. It's going to drop lower, though, right in here. Like you can see the ground right yeah. through there. The hole right there. Some GB holes. And uh, center plot of 64 inch lens here. <laughs> yeah. I, we've gone to the islands like that. Oh, there'd be a hole we can get down through there. Center plot of 64 inch Juliet Sierra. New number 648, Julius here, Atlanta. Yeah, can I uh, go direct RISME for the RNAV uh, 18 Auburn? Hey, Julius here, approve this request, maintain 5000. Alright, direct RISME, maintain 5000, Julius here. 
RV three Romeo Victor, flooding zero eight zero. Zero eight zero through Romeo Victor. Well, Station two six Delta Tango, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. Two six Delta Tango. Thanks. Speedway traffic citation. Two six Delta Tango. We're inbound R now six. Bypass should be coming in here before too long. Here it comes. Good on gear speed, get one dot high. And then, one, two, three green. Path intercepted. Captured. Speed good, flaps 35. Have a little bit of a tailwind, maybe just a knot or two, according to the AWAS. Where'd I go? Speedway traffic citation 26 Delta Tango, we're on two mile final runway six. Speedway. Lowest altitude is what, the 1400? Yeah, 1061. This is the MSL. Kind of hilly terrain here. Five hundred. There's a runway. Autopilot. Four hundred. Autopilot. Three hundred. Minimums, minimums, 200, glide pass, 100. All right, three green, panel is clean. 50, 40, 10, 30, 20. When did you come over here? I don't know, we were all over. Remember, my 172 is here. Oh, really? I think he was with us. I don't think I've ever been here. That's the Motor Speedway. I know I had never been here. I never. Oh, that's 2857. Atlanta Citation 26 Delta Tango, we're on the ground at Speedway, we can cancel. Oh. Atlanta Citation 26 Delta Tango, we're on the ground at Speedway, we can cancel. 26 Delta Tango, IFR cancellation is received, you have yourself a great day. Thank you, sir. See you. Bet you this is a happening place when that's going on. Yeah. That Speedway traffic, down there. Citation 26 Delta Tango, we're clear of the active.
they were building this. I had never been here all night. It was sitting there and that 172 come taxing around. They made a movie here. The 1938, what did you say, 38? Yep. DC-3. They didn't fill it full of fuel and all 6,000 pounds. It's a clean bird. Each engine holds 29 gallons of oil. Animal rescue. They had. They just took. Have taken uh, 70 dogs up to Minneapolis. Rescue dogs. Oh. That is pretty neat. So well, they they train the dogs to be rescue dogs, and then is that what? It's not rescue like that. It's it's rescue as in strays, abandoned, neglected, abused dogs. Oh, I got you. I got that we you. that we rescue from the community to keep them from going to shelters where they're euthanized. Oh, that's pretty good. And you had seventy this time. Yeah. <laughs> we ship uh, well, not by airplane, obviously, but we transport we transport fifty to seventy every two weeks. Man, is that many out there? Yep. Yep. Oh, and that doesn't even knock a dent. Oh, really? And we still are, we still remain full and turn, have to turn people down. Where are you guys from? Columbia, Mississippi. Yeah, I, I guarantee you got the same problem or worse in Columbia, Mississippi. We get we get hell. We get probably fifty percent of our dogs from Corinth, Mississippi. Really? Yeah. Or that in that whole area. We're located in the Shoals in Northwest Alabama, so. <coughs> We like to draw primarily from Alabama, but we get a ton from Mississippi. Yeah, that's good. That's um, y'all probably got more than you can get to, then I guess. Oh yeah. Yep. We have to turn folks down all the time. Yeah, I see. Heart of Alabama. Yep. What can we do? Huh. So what do people? People call you and say, hey, I got a stray, and they... Well, that's neat. That, or they, they've been dumped off at people's houses. And they just call... Oh, they call. Y'all don't go to a pound. Did you see the problem with this girl here? Uh, she's got a chip on her shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty neat. This is a pilot. Pilot? She's a pilot, aren't you? No. Huh? Oh, she's she, a pilot. That landed us. Oh, she did landed. you? She's good. You wouldn't think girls could do anything, but she's actually pretty good. <laughs> like, uh, what's your name? Mary, Brittany. Mary? My wife's name Mary. So, you are who, sir? Fred Frinkelmeyer. Fred? Fred? Nice to meet y'all. I'm Fr Kenny Frinkelmeyer. Price. Frinkelmeyer? Yeah, I gotta make sure you spell it correctly. F-R-I-N-K-L-M-I-R-E-I-E-R. -E -E Frinkelmeyer. Can I just call you Mr. Free? She's really good at the pilot. Yeah. She can fly. Well, it looks mighty smooth coming in. Mm -hmm. Women can do anything. She's got clean windows. Clean windows. <laughs> you can clean out that garage. Yeah. Well, that is neat. DC flying around the this is our um, This is our manual labor guy right here. We just brought him because he's. He's, he's, yeah, he's smart. No, he's not very smart at all. Not very smart? No. Intern program. Oh. <laughs> They're trying to teach me a useful t <laughs> trade. And they figured, hell, anybody can fly one of these things. So I started out here, and it's looking pretty good so far. Well, he started out flying, but he didn't do very good, so she would not let him fly anymore. So it was a safety thing. <laughs> 
You do you do something on YouTube? Yeah, I got uh -huh. a, I, I fly for my main job, but uh, I do dirt work on the side. And oh, stuff. Okay. So I got both of them on the channel. I do dirty work. Do you? Yeah. Dirty work? Well, yeah. That's the same difference. But I thought it'd be neat to put this on there if y'all don't mind. No, you can do whatever you want. I'm in the septic business. Are you? I'm number one in the number two business. Number one in number two business? <laughs> Is that why you're so full of shit? <laughs> hey! No, it's not true. I'm a brain surgeon. But only on an amateur basis. Amateur? I do amateur brain surgeries. You gotta practice a little more. They don't say, are you in practices? Well, yes, I am. I'm practicing right now. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Well, that's all they do is get a license to practice. Mm -hmm. So, hey. I thought about doing a YouTube <coughs> channel, but it seems like a lot of work. It's a lot of fun. Anybody can do a YouTube channel from what I hear. Yeah. It's it, a lot of fun. You like it? Fun. Ain't, ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to. Uh, well, thank y'all. That's very interesting. I appreciate y'all letting me talk to you, man. I really did not land that plane. Huh? <laughs> Well, yeah, but you ain't got, we ain't got to tell her, everybody knows that. Everybody thinks it's good. Yeah, it was me. Move around on. That is cool, though. Did he bounce when you landed? No, first move. Okay. Thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed. You too. Hey, folks, I appreciate y'all watching the channel, watching this video. Uh, I enjoyed doing the interview there with the animal rescue folks and um, Mr. Fred. I didn't have a clue who he was. His real name is Dan Grider, and he's got a YouTube channel called Probable Cause, and I'll put a link up here, and also a link to Par for the Course because he made a video with them, and that's where I've seen him before, but I didn't remember that. And uh, he's got a large following. He's got, I think, 96,000 people, uh, subscribers. So anyway, but I had a good time talking to him. I appreciate him letting me interview him and uh, talk about the animals and they had carried actually 75 dogs on that plane and two cats. I think one of the cats was up there in the cockpit with them. So I don't know what the cats was thinking or the dogs was thinking in that, in that airplane, but um, that would have been interesting probably. But it reminds me, um, you know, not knowing who Mr. Fred was, reminds me of scripture out of Hebrews chapter 13. It says, let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. So sometimes we have the opportunity to help people that we have no clue who they are. And that person may be an angel, according to Scripture. And maybe a test from God to see if we're going to uphold the second uh, commandment, which is love your neighbor as yourself. So if you have the opportunity to help somebody, especially those that you don't know, it's a good opportunity to show brotherly love. And if we had more of that in this country, our country wouldn't be in such sad shape as it is today. But thank you all again for watching. God bless, and you all have a good day.